Hello everyone, this is Case Lynch, GrabCAD Community Manager for the GrabCAD Print team, and these are the patch notes for GrabCAD Print 1.28. We've added a bunch of new features that we hope you will enjoy in this new update. First, we added a Make My Part button with Stratasys Direct Manufacturing. So if you're ever lacking on any technology or capacity with printing more parts, go to Apps and Make My Part with Stratasys Direct Manufacturing. You will be redirected to the Stratasys Direct Manufacturing landing page. This is currently available for US and Canadian customers. Next, we added Auto Orient for Advanced FDM. Auto Orient is now supported in Advanced FDM, which orients models to minimize support and reduce build time. Using this option in Advanced FDM allows both standard and merged bodies to be auto-oriented. Next, we're going to have Color Texture OBJ Files support. So now, OBJ files with image textures are now supported with GrabCAD Print. So when printing on a PolyJet printer, image texture files associated with that OBJ file will now be read and displayed and the merge result will be printed. Fix Hexagram Infill. A part quality issue when using a hexagram infill on the F123 series printers is fixed for materials F123 ASA and F123 ABS on 0.005 inch and 0.007 inch slice height. The density of the infill is decreased to prevent overfill. Also, we have updated our selected model count. In the print settings, orient and scale panels, they have been updated to only count models or bodies are on the active tray. And lastly, we have some bug fixes for you guys. There was a bug in the printer history that if you export from the desktop app where the duration showed 0.0000 for all jobs, that has now been fixed. Next, we have clear unneeded files. The app generates some files in the temp directory and previously they built up over time. Now they automatically get cleared on the app's close. Critical bug fix. Some users were hitting a bug where they were unable to launch GrabCAD print seeing a too many instances error. This was caused by an unpopular add-in which has now been removed from the GrabCAD print installer. And that is all we'll be have for you in GrabCAD print 1.28. My name is Kesa Lynch, GrabCAD community manager. Thank you so much for watching.